Hi parents, I uh, just wanted to give you a little sneak peek at some of the things we were working on this week. Um, we've been doing a lot of assessments the last few weeks on things like um, pencil grip for the kids, um, how we hold and use scissors, um, letter formation and whatnot, and just you know, general listening and following directions. But we started on the letter N this week. So the way we started our week was learning about N is we started with these two pages where we did just the formation of the N, which we say is down the slide, or sorry, straight down, and then we go down the slide, up the slide, and then we start here where you see little N, and we go down and then retrace, and then go up and make the rainbow. So once we did this, then we did four of them as practice. I did these individually. Um, we're not ready to start this as a group yet. It's easier to do it one-on-one -on -one until we kind of get the hang of this process. Um, today we worked in small groups, uh, three kids at a time with both Jessica and I, and then we worked on some more fine motor. Again, tracing the letter N straight down, lift the marker, down the slide, up the slide, and then here, straight down, retrace, and then make a rainbow. We use a lot of those terms, diagonal, slide, retracing, so they're getting the hang of how to make these letters. And then there's a fine motor practice, so it always starts at the top. When your kids are making letters, capitals and small, they should always be starting those letters at the top of the page, top of the line. All right, so we do the tracing like this, and then we're down here, again, straight down, down the slide, up the slide, we're practicing and then tracing again, and then practicing a few ends of our own. Same with lowercase, tracing each one, that repetitive motion, one after the other, and then tracing, and then trying a few of our own. Size-wise, it, it's not unusual for them to go up a little bit. That's a very hard space to get those letters into as we're learning. And then we were using clues about the pictures and giving them specific directions put an X on something you can write in, circle something you can catch a bug in, and different things like that. So this week, you'll start seeing these come home. They can use these at home. They don't need to come back to us, but if you'd like some extra practice, those fine motor skills. So teaching the children how to do a pencil grip, which is basically, excuse me one second, let me get the lid off of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Hang on, let me grab a different one. Okay, so when they're holding the pencil grip is getting that pinch like that. We have a lot of kids that are holding in a fist grip still, some even a fist grip like this. So if you see your child doing that, you wanna switch them around. Make sure they're holding low enough to get a good grip, but not too low that they have their fingers in the marker. Um, also, what's important is to have them hold it tightly, not super tight, but a firm grip. We have a lot of kids that are holding it loosely which makes it hard to get a fine line on the page. So a nice firm grip, pencil grip like this is very helpful. If you see them switch like this, then just help them switch back to that pencil grip. The more that they get used to that, the easier it will be to write the letters. So same thing here, they can go down the slide, lift, down the, I'm sorry, straight down, sorry, and then down the slide, up the slide, straight down, down the slide, up the slide. They can practice the ends and then they can color them here. Fine motor practice, a lot of it is about coloring. We call it careful coloring, staying in the lines, using different colors, and then the cutting skills, cutting things out, right? We've been showing the kids, right, that the scissors, your thumb goes in the top part, right? Fingers in the bottom and always cutting away from yourself and turning your paper, not your scissors. These are all kind of the basics that we're going back to and starting with at the beginning of this year. So this will come home in their green folder tomorrow and you're welcome to use this at home as something to practice with. So that's just kind of in a nutshell what we've been working on this week. We'll be doing more with letters, new letter each week, and then going back and reviewing these as well. So, okay, thanks everybody. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.